Do you want to boost sales on your WooCommerce store with a product recommendation pop-up? Product recommendation pop-ups display a product suggestion while users are looking at related content on your e-commerce site. So why use one? It's been proven that product recommendation pop-ups can increase sales from 10 to 30%. You can also create product awareness and show customers your one-time offers. If you really want to increase conversions, the best way to make a product recommendation pop-up is with Optin Monster. In this video, we'll show you how to make one step-by-step. -step. Let's get started. Your first step is to sign up for an Optin Monster account. All you have to do is go to optinmonster.com and click on the green Get Optin Monster Now button. And with the pro plan, you'll have access to all the features you need to execute this tutorial. Once you've purchased an Optin Monster plan, you'll need to install and activate your Optin Monster plugin in your WordPress dashboard. Click on activate, and this will bring you to the Optin Monster welcome screen where you can connect your account. So click that, and then you'll click on authorize Optin Monster connect to WordPress, and that will connect to the Optin Monster account you just created. Step number two is to create your pop-up using Optin Monster. In your Optin Monster dashboard, click the green Create New Campaign button. Then select Pop-up. You can select the template that fits your design needs. And for this tutorial, we'll be using the Camber template. Then name your campaign, select your online store in the dropdown, and you can start building. With the drag and drop builder, creating a campaign that perfectly matches your online store's branding is so easy. I recommend starting off by clicking on custom colors and importing your brand's custom color profile. Next, we'll change the image by clicking on opt-in settings, opt-in view styles, and then you can choose from the library or upload from your computer. Make sure you choose an image that's visually impactful and shows what you're offering as the product recommendation. You can easily add or delete elements off your campaign, and in this case, we'll delete a text element to add on an image element. Simply drag and drop, and then select the image. In this case, it's an arrow that's meant to draw our customer's attention to our offer. Next, we'll edit the subtext, and in the text editor, it's easy to change the font, font size, styling, colors, and more. And remember to take advantage of the subtext to explain your product recommendation offer even more. So in this case, the mugs are being suggested because the customer has a coffee maker in their cart. So the message reads, we saw that coffee maker in your cart. We thought you might like our number one selling coffee mug to go with that. Next, we're going to delete off the email capture form because we won't need that for this product recommendation pop-up. And we're going to drag and drop a yes, no button onto our campaign. Here, we'll configure the yes, no button so that the yes click will redirect to the mugs. So simply click on the yes button and you'll configure the yes button text to reflect your product recommendation offer. So for this example, we'll write, take me to the mugs. Next, if you scroll down to background color, thanks to importing your custom colors, you can change the button color to your brand's colors in one click. Next, we'll go to the action tab to make sure that a yes click redirects to the URL of the product page that we'd like to redirect our customers to. Finally, for the no button, we don't want our customers who aren't interested in mugs to completely go away. So we'll write, keep shopping. Then to style the no button, scroll down to the regular tab, choose background color, and we're going to bring down the transparency so that we'll only be able to see the keep shopping text. So choose font color, and click on one of your custom colors. Now that we're done with the design of the no button, you need to choose what happens when someone clicks on it. And to do so, go to the action tab and where it says button click action, select close the campaign. Now that the design is complete, go to the display rules tab and click on e-commerce. When you scroll down, you'll see the options available to you for your WooCommerce store. Since you're recommending a product, this is a great way to recommend a complimentary product for a cross sell. So for this example, we would show the campaign to those who are browsing coffee makers or who have a coffee maker in their cart. Once you've chosen your display rules, you can skip the integrations tab because you won't be generating any email leads with this product recommendation pop-up. Next, in analytics, you'll automatically have access to Optin Monster's native analytics. You can also connect to your Google Analytics in just a couple of clicks. Finally, in the publish tab, toggle from pause to live, save, and when you go to preview campaign, you'll see your product recommendation pop-up on your WooCommerce store. Now you have a product recommendation pop-up on your online store that will work for you to bring product awareness and boost your sales. Don't forget to watch our recent video about how to create an SMS pop-up 
And to find out more about what OptinMonster can do for you, check out our demo. And don't forget to subscribe for more OptinMonster videos, the channel dedicated to getting you more conversions, email subscribers, and sales.